Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. This is a, a video of a, a little part of a eight part video and basically is how to prepare to become an independent adjuster. I go through the whole process on how you get the your uh, license, your CE credits, uh, then I'm going to be showing you where you can actually apply for uh, some uh, uh, IA firms. Okay, so th these are the so, uh, things that I'm going to be posting, and the one that we're actually working on is on number five, some basic guidelines when sketching rooms in Xactimate. I had to break that down into five parts because otherwise it would be a big long video. So the one that I'm going to talk about is adding cabinets to a room. And if you are keeping up with my um, videos, you know, we already have all of these videos uploaded all the way up to here in uh, YouTube. In addition to those, we have this other videos right here that I have posted previously, and those get more detailed in uh, bringing in a scan, drawing a whole, how, uh, actually, uh, I think it was a, a dentist's office or something like that, and then uh, I drew a, a room from sc uh, scratch in Symbility and in Xactimate. But uh, those, here, here's those, uh, videos if you just go to those right there what you see in blue if you type that it'll go right to those uh, videos but so let's get to adding cabinets to uh brooms now i uh, i left off right here last time on the last video <clears throat> so we've already done the doors we've already done the windows now we're going to do cabinets the reason that it's really important to draw your cabinets and not just drawing the cabinets but there are some preferences that you have to change uh so that um so let's say let's say this is a wall and you have a window you're not going to paint the window so we have to remove that from all the other area of the uh, of the wall, so that's why it's important to uh, draw these cabinets and uh, bathtubs and uh, built-in uh, showers. Not just from the walls, but when you have flooring, you also got to remove it from the flooring because you know you could talk a lot of money if you don't remove everything from a that doesn't have floor. Okay, so let me let me explain all this. It's easier to explain it on the uh, computer. So, you know, um, so let me change my view real quick. Uh, we are right now in uh, in Sketch. Okay, so <clears throat> there is a way that you can add cabinets. Uh, let me look at my estimate real quick. I, I, I hope I don't have an estimate here so that uh, my machine is running slow because there's a lot of stuff going on in, my, in the background. Good, there's no estimates here. Okay, so, <clears throat> so let's go back to sketch. On the left-hand side, this window here, you can search for a, an object by type in the cabinets and I see if it and then once you start typing it'll give you a list and you know uh, so let's say let's say oh, you have uppers and then so you know it's going to show you the the kinds of upper cabinets right that's one way of doing it and before I go to the other one, let me show you what this side of the Xactimate does. So if I click here, it's going to load. You see 
where it says place cabs and cabinetry's upper wall units. It, wherever I go, it's going to place it in there. So there's a kitchen right there. Let, let me enlarge that kitchen a little bit. So let's say, so these are my uppers, right? So if I put that there, because there's going to be an upper there, and then I, 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 I'm going to, it's still loaded. I can go down here and add one here. And, you know, let's say there was another one down here. Okay. So now, oh, oh, it didn't do it. So, okay. So I'm going to hit escape to, to deselect it, right? So it stopped loading. Now, what it did, you see right here, $786. It's added this to your estimate. And sometimes, I mean, you don't want to add cabinets. All you want to do is, is, is deduct the, the, the space behind the cabinet from the wall, okay? So now when you drew a cabinet, if I double click here or I can hit, you know, I can select it, hit control, enter, and I'm going it, to, it'll get me to the preferences. You see right here where it says, Remove floor linear fle uh, feet behind. Remove linear feet. Uh, you know, so it's going to have behind, under, and above. And this is for the ceiling. Okay. So it is no. That's not what you want. You want to remove that from the wall because you're not going to paint that cabinet. And you're not going to pay for that space where that cabinet belongs. Now, there is a way to modify this little icons that you have down here. And but that's a different whole different uh, video because I it, it, there's more to it than it's harder than it looks. But uh, uh, so I'm going to delete these things. OK. Another way you can load cabinets, you see right here, where it says symbols? Those are just for symbols. So let's go to images. Let me see what, uh, okay, you, you got your symbols. Um, and so you can go to your appliances and add like a washer. And uh, now on symbols, that doesn't put um, an estimate on there. All it does is just puts a symbol there. And that's, um, I like doing that because when you're there, you put all the symbols, like there's a dishwasher here, there's a, uh, you know, refrigerator. Later on, as you're writing your estimate, you know, at that point, you're not sure if you're going to give them uh, the flooring or walls or whatever. But if you have a placeholder there, you decide, okay, yeah, we're going to buy them the floor. Now you know you got to detach and reset all those appliances. So that's what's good about that. Now, so uh, on your search engine, you can go by uh, reference search. So if you click on that, what you're going to do is get this little pictures. So let's say I go to my um, kitchen. Okay. Kitchen. Now I can click on the kitchen and let's say I want to add a refrigerator to my estimate. If I click here. Okay. And let's say I go to refrigerator and it's this one right here. Now, you see how it loaded it, right? You see back here, I'm going to turn that off so you can see. Okay, so if I put that in there right there, it's going to add that to my estimate. So I'm going to escape so I can deselect it. And you see it put it in my estimate. I, I, you know, I really don't want to do that right now. You can do that later, but okay. So now.
those are some ways. Now, I have created my own symbols, my own cabinets, my own bathtubs. And let me show you what I've done for me. And you can do the same thing for yourself, okay? So I'm going to – now, you see how my uh, canvas, my drawing canvas is it's, it's small? I want to remove this, and then I want to remove this. There's a couple of ways of doing it. This little icon here, I can click on it, click on this one, click one more time, and it goes away, right? Same thing down here. I click on it, and now, now I have my canvas the way that I want to draw. Now I have a big canvas, so it's easy for me to draw. If I want to get that stuff back, you can go into your options, go into your full, uh, uh, reset default layout, and then you get everything back, right? Now, that's the hard way. The easiest way to do it is if you hit Control Enter. Excuse me, shift enter. All the canvas is wrong, right? Gone. Now you want your canvas back? All you got to do is hit shift control R. And now you get your canvas back. Now, once you've done that one time, you can switch back and forth during this working session by hitting just shift enter. It'll get everything removed, right? Hit shift enter. It goes back to the other way. Uh, okay, so that's uh, some shortcuts that I use a lot. So right now we don't we don't need no, no canvas. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw some cabinets. I'm going to put some bathrooms, and I'm going to show you how I how I do my stuff. And and I'll show you real quick how you do it. Okay, so. Um, so if I go in here, load templates, I have a list. These are my templates. And let's say I want upper cabinets. So I'm going to click on upper. I'm going to hit OK. And then you see how it is, uh, how is vertical, the horizontal. I want it vertical because I want it against this wall. If I hit, there's either you can hit tab or shift tab. Shift tab goes counterclockwise, tab goes clockwise. So in this case, I want it on the left hand side, so I'm going to hit shift tab. And then I can put it right there. Okay. Now, the good thing about my, my, uh, my little things there is that it's not loading any, est nothing into the estimate. In addition, if you go into your preferences, you're going to notice that I've already told it to remove all this settings. So anytime I touch a wall, it's going to remove it. Anytime it touches the floor, it's going to remove it. Anytime it touches the ceiling, it's going to remove it from uh, from that area. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so in my uh, in my house here, I got cabinets, right? So I got a I got a list of my cabinets. So um okay, so two things. I am first I'm gonna draw this side of my cabinets and my uppers, and then I'm gonna show you uh You know what? There's less on it on this other side. So so let's do it the other the, uh, down here. So I know I have an upper down here, okay, and then I I have a lower that goes right here. So I'm gonna go in here. I wish there was a command. That's the only thing I hate that, that this thing don't have a command. Uh, so I'm gonna cabinet. I'm gonna put a uh, base, which is the you know base cabinets. Hit OK, and I'm gonna hit. 
this time tab because it's on this side so I have some cabinets that are they go right there now uh, let me see okay so this particular one is four feet the width of it is uh, four feet nine inches and all your cabinets normally are two feet the depth from here to here is your depth now the height of them are usually 210 let me see what this one said and it said to 210 okay so uh, let me show you so far what we got so you hit uh, control th no you just hit the, the button three you see there's my uh, lower cabinet and there's my upper cabinet okay so let's go back to uh, uh, 1d now um, so let me see I do have I'm trying to read my notes here um, okay so I got some cabinets there and then Okay, so then right next to there, I'm going to have some more cabinets, but these things are only two feet on the width. So for, for right now, I'm going to move this thing out of the way. So what I can do is I can hit Control C, Control V, place it right here. So the width of that cabinet is only two feet. So go in here, hit two. Uh, and, and slap those guys right there. Now, in that same area, so let, let me show you what this looks like. Three, you see, the, there, there's some lower cabinets right there, right? Right in here. Okay, now, in this same area, I have some upper cabinets. Okay, so I can grab this guy here and, um, I'm going to move it right here. You see how it snaps to that bottom one? And then all I'm going to do is just snap right to that, to the width. So now, if you look at it, there you go. That's what my uh, my cabinets look like. So now, <clears throat> I do have a uh, refrigerator that sits right in here. So I am going to load template. And I am gonna put uh, my refrigerator. It's a so all I'm gonna do is hit tap 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 tap. Oops. And there's a little bit of space in between uh, the refrigerator and okay. So now one thing here. Let me show y'all something. You see this right here? In my house, that is an open uh, wall. It's, a, it's called a missing wall. Let, let, let me let me show you, and, and we'll fix that real quick here. So, come on, there we go. I got some photos here that uh, will show you. Let me see. Oh, right here. Okay, so. <clears throat> you see, there's that long cabinet, and there's that little cabinet. But look, there's an open. So we can't pay for that. Okay, so we need to remove that from that wall. So what I'm going to do is close this and show you how to fix that. So, <clears throat> so the, here's my wall. I have a missing wall. So, you know, you know, you're going to be in your estimate. I'm um, excuse me. You're going to be on your sketch, and then you see this missing wall right here. All you got to do is type M for missing wall. I wanted to show you where it's at. So if you hit, if you click there, it'll give you this thing, and then so you just take it. Uh, it actually has a little area that. Let me, let me look at that. Uh, uh, 
got my phone. Oh, I closed it, didn't I? Yeah, there, there, there's a little bit of, uh, it doesn't go all the way. See right here? It's like a little pillar there. Okay, so we're going to keep that in there. Okay, so we're going to go to the exact mat again. And right in here, I'm going to go to my preferences. Let me show you what it looks like right now when by default. By default, you see what it looks like? It's missing at the bottom. Here, let, let's go all the way around down here. You see? You see how that looks? It's missing here. And then up here, it, it, there, there's, a, there's a wall up here. That's not what it's supposed to look like. So let's click on that. Shift Enter. Now, these are the real measurements. Okay. So the missing wall, the width is four feet, five inch. The base height, uh, I'll always leave the base height at zero, and I'll always uh, add my other measurement. Uh, the height is four feet, one inch. And then I have a habit of doing my base height less, three feet, 11 inches. There's a reason. I don't want to explain it, but you'll learn it. Once you're out there, you'll see what, why I'm doing that. Okay, now, so if I go in here, my wall is right basically there because that's where the cabinet ends. So now, now look, we hit, see, that's what it's supposed to look like. You see, if you go into, I keep on turning that, uh, closing that uh, picture. What, see? And that's what that looks like. See, I have uh, at the bottom, I got four feet, nine inches from here to here. I got a little dishwasher here. I got my uppers down here. So actually here, I have a cabinet. A cabinet doesn't belong there. A, a little uh, dishwasher does. Okay, so let's, uh, just, I'm not gonna turn, uh, close that one this time just in case. Okay, so, we, you know, it's really no big deal, you know, because I got a base there, so I can delete it, go in here, go to my options, go to load templates, and that's a dishwasher. So if I double click on dishwasher and hit, uh, you know, tab, 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 and snap it right there basically the same thing but you see it has a dw uh, later on i'll know what that is you see how this thing say base cabinet and there's one that says upper cabinet so you know right now those cab those names are on top of each other here well actually there's no, there's only one uh, uh base cabinet so i like okay so now on this other side on this other side, it's a, a little more complicated. So, but we have our uppers and we have our lowers. So that's gonna make it easier. Okay, so if I, um, so I got some, uh, so I'm gonna copy this right here, Control C, Control V, that's gonna put my, lower cabinets okay so now <clears throat> I got uh, trying to, okay so then I have a stove next to that okay so let me move this it's a lot easier I, I draw all my stuff on the spot I, I don't I don't make notes I'm drawing while I'm there at the uh, at the lost location. So um, let me see something three. Okay, one. Okay, so <clears throat> you see, if you ho hover up here uh, in this area, it sh shows you the upper cabinets, right? And you can't see it. But if you hover over it, so I can select it, hit Control C, Control V, go down here. 
in. Now, I got uppers and lowers because I use the same settings that we had down here. I have the measurements here, but they're all the same, so I don't I don't have to remeasure everything. Okay, so next to that I have a, a stove. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna go into low template, go to templates, and what did I name that guy? Uh, I just saw it. Stove range. Hit OK. Now I'm going to hit Shift Tab because I want to go the opposite way. And I'm just going to load it, load it right there so I can snap right there. Okay, so now you can see what it's looking like. Okay. The, the stove is a little bit bigger than the uh, uh, than your um, cabinets because you know it has the thing at the you know the control panel so that's the size of, uh, of the stove that I have okay so now on top of the stove I have a microwave and on top of the microwave I have a microwave what I call a microwave uh, cabinet so we're going to put all that in there. Okay, so I'm going to load templates. And so first I'll put my microwave. Most of your microwaves are this size, but you can, you know, they can change. So hit tab, uh, shift tab, put that guy right there on top of the stove. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Now we just need that upper cabinet. It's a real tiny little cabinet that goes up there. So I'll go here, load te uh, templates, and I have a cabinet microwave. So I hit OK, uh, shift, tap, 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 and snap to it right there. OK, now look. There you go. I got my cabinet, lower cabinet, upper cabinet, Stove, microwave, and my uh, stove, microwave, and the upper cabinet. Okay, now, now, <clears throat> so I have um, now next to that. I have some more cab cabinetry and uh, so but you know what I, I didn't mess up because this guy here because I, I was looking at my notes wrong so this guy right here is only actually three feet um, three three and then so now that I got that one look this just snaps right to it you see I'm gonna move this guy's over and it'll snap right. Oops, I didn't lie. Okay, so if I let, you see, it snaps right to there. Oh, when you see that uh, that uh, red little, you see, it's not gonna let let me put it there. I was going too far to the left. So now I'm gonna get this one. Snap right there. Get this one. Snap right. There. Okay, now, now I've got a little cabinet, a, a lower and an upper. So all I got to really do is, you know, select that one, control C, control V, and look, it's not going to let me put it here because it's too big, and I and and I'll, and I'll explain why. You see how it didn't let me do that? Look, I'm going to hit control V, and I'm just going to put it right here. And this is why. You see, this is one room. This is another room. Xactimate thinks there's a wall right there. So it's not going to let you put something like this in between a wall. And and in my house, that's, that's where exactly where it stops right there, the cabinet. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. 
I'm going to snap right here. And then I'm just going to go right to the end. See how it snapped? Okay. Now I'll do the upper cabinet. Okay, you see. Okay. Now, if you're having a problem selecting cabinets, let me show you what you can do. You can click here. You see this little diamond right there? I'm going to hit my space bar. I'm going to move that guy out of the way. Okay. Now, now if I now I can select that one because I'm selecting the name that B uh, B6 is base cabinet. Uh, so now that I have that, I can click on it, hit Control C, Control V, and you know make it a little bit smaller. And snap to the oh it, man I, I drew it right the right size which is kind of weird okay so now F three there we go that's my kitchen now okay so that piece of paper I don't need let's let's draw some uh, uh, my master bathroom. Okay, let me see. I got some notes on my master bedroom. Okay, so I have a vanity right here, right in this corner. So I'll go load. I can actually just use. Let me see if I have cap. Uh, I don't think I have any. Let me see. So. Template list. No, I, I I don't have vanities. Okay, so it's no big deal. So basically, what I'll do is I will use uh, one of my base cabinets, right? So now <clears throat> you see this one, two, three, four, five, or four that 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 are listed there. It's gonna remember the stuff that you recently did, so you don't have to go to your list. Of templates you can also go and copy and paste from that other room but it's going to remember this stuff here um, so but now I don't see my lowers so let me see if I can uh, select one of my lowers so I'm going to hit control C then we're going to put that guy control V right here on this uh, left hand corner and we will have to change that because remember this is a this is a cabinet not a not, not a vanity and my vanity okay so the width of it is two feet ten inches so I can change that to two ten okay the the um, the height of it is four feet ten inches wait a second is that a vanity To ten, the base height, uh, base height. Okay, the height is two six. No, the the height is. Ten. That would be way too big. That must be one of my showers. Yeah, yeah. This this is not even the right thing. Um, here we go. Okay, I knew something was wrong. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Okay. So it's actually four feet six inches wide. Uh, so the depth of it Yeah, the depth of it is one feet. Nine inches. It's not. It's not as as uh, big as your uh, kitchen ones, cabinets, and the uh, the height is two feet six inch. Okay, two feet six inch. Okay. Now that's why I love doing. I draw while I'm there on the spot. I don't have to think about it. 
I got my laptop right there. My wife, she has the same license I got. She's giving me the measurements. And I don't know if you y'all saw me drawing this ho uh, this house. We can draw a whole house faster than what you saw us saw me doing it here because we're there on the spot and uh, it's real real easy and fast. Okay, anyway, so right in here I got a bathtub. Okay, so I can go into my templates and I have tub. Yeah, tub. Okay, and I'm gonna hit OK. It's not gonna fit in there. There's no way it's gonna let me fit in there because you see how it's bigger. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna click a little bit away from the wall, and I'm just gonna release right there. Now I'm just gonna snap. Snap there. Snap there, and the uh, the depth is three three. Okay, uh, the height of it is three six. So right here, I'm gonna put three comma six. Okay, now I got a shower that's right here. So I'm gonna use the same thing. Control C, Control V, and is you know I'm gonna make that real small so I can fit it in there. So I snap to one side and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. This time it's gonna work. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, that's correct, and this way is two nine, two common nine. Okay, and the height of this thing is actually six feet three inches, and so the last thing in this bathroom, there's a commode there. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a toilet a load template, and if I click, no, I, I thought if I, so I'm gonna click on toilet, hit OK, it's facing the wrong way, tap, 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 and then slap that guy right there. Now, if I hold, go here and hit 3D, that's what it's actually gonna look like, but this is what uh, it looks like. So when I'm doing my estimate, let's say uh, that I was redoing the subflooring and it was rotted underneath here and underneath here. Now I know I got the size of the uh, that um, that tub, the size of the shower enclosure. I know I got to remove a, a toilet. And I got to detach and reset a, a carpentry. So that's why while I'm there, I always draw this because it doesn't take that long to draw this stuff. It's taking a long time now because I'm explaining a lot of stuff. So, you know, we got the, the utility room here. So I can go in here, load template. Let's go with the washer and dryer. So there's my you know, the dishwasher dryer. So hit OK and hit Shift Tab. Now that made me remember that if I have to do anything there, I, I'll detach and reset that. Or if it was room, I know I got to put one in there. So let's um, I don't see if I see a washer. I don't see a washer for for right now, just for grins. And then this will that'll let me know that there's something there. Control C, Control V, and uh, and I'll draw me one later on. And it, they're actually spaced out a little bit. Okay, so now watch this. 
So I, I got a little bathroom down here, right? I got my toilet. Uh, well, first I, I, I got a, I got a. Here, I'm done with that one. And then, so down here I got a on the on the right hand on the other bathroom. I'm gonna copy and paste this guy right here. And. It's actually let's get shift tab 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 and it goes in right like that. Oh, it didn't go in because here control V. I'm just gonna slap it. Well it's about right there. And then I can move this guy around. So it it goes from one end to the other, and the guy is one fit. The shower is two feet eight inches. Look at my eight, and the height of that shower is six feet one inch, as tall as the other one. Then I got a a little cap uh, vanity. So we know this is the size of a vanity. So I'm gonna hit Control C. Go right here. Hit Control V, and hit my Shift tab. The only difference on this one here that the width of this is going to be 411. Uh, 4, 11. Oh, excuse me, 3. I take that back. 3. 3. Looking at the wrong. 3. Now, right in here, I got that. Control, Control C, Control V, and Tap, 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 and there's your bathroom right there. When you walk in, that's exactly how that bathroom looks like. Okay, so um, that's that's how that's how you do that, guys and gals. <laughs> um, let me let me look and see if I missed anything. So basically, this is my house. And everything's there. Uh, my f oh no! Look, my fireplace. I'm missing a fireplace. Okay, so a fireplace. And again, you see right in here. Let's say if I was doing the flooring, I got to remove the fireplace from the wall and from the flooring if I'm replacing the flooring. Okay, so uh, if I go load templates. I created this thing called fireplace because I had one at another location fireplace hit OK and hit uh, tab 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 oh shift tab now I'm just gonna so it's gonna go right there oh it there let me enlarge it control V oh control Z Okay, let's try it again. Low template, fireplace. Let's hit app, app, and I am gonna see if it'll snap it right there. No. It, it, it's because it's a little, okay, let's load. So that's why I always try to do this right here. App, app, load it first. Then, Click on it and try to move it. See, you see that little red uh, red circle with with the slash. That means it's not going to go there. Now look, if I move it around right there, I can actually move it to the right a little bit. Right there, if I let go of it, it's going to work. I could even get it a little bit closer. Right there. Okay. What I really want to do is, is put it against that wall. I don't know what's, I, it's not letting me, it's probably because of the angle of the, um, the two different angles. Yeah. Okay, so, F3, see, 
that's what the fireplace looks like so right here it uh, <clears throat> it that would remove from the uh, bottom of the, of the flooring and we, we got a little problem here let, let me figure out why it's not let me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this guy a little bit smaller and see if it all oh there you go okay I knew something was going on now it'll remove it from the back of the wall so let's go in uh, and make it the right size sometimes you gotta play with these things and now since it's against the wall it'll remove it from the painting of that wall okay uh one and you know every fireplace is going to be different this one has happens to be my fireplace so you know if you were somewhere else maybe it would be that big and maybe uh the height of it might instead of four feet it might be five feet but you would just change it but if you notice I, the behavior of it i've told it to remove from the back from the front from the top you know so okay now the next thing that I have that I would be teaching would be okay I've added tubs outlets switches you know uh, your um, ceiling fans and so basically in case you want to see the next video basically what we're going to be end up doing is uh, let me see I should have one right here this one is no components right here so the next one will look like this and then after this then we'll start getting into estimating but if you go to sketch you see all those weird symbols see this is this is a vent this is a, a, a light actually this is a little uh, um, not a regular light it's a I don't know what I can think of the name of it it's a it's a different light fixture but um, uh, that you know right here this symbol that that's an outlet that duller looking sign is a switch uh, this thing here is my security system that I have you know so I have a security system there there's one on this side there's one here and then there's one there so so every plug in my whole house is right here and so if you hit three see that's what it would look like so you know those are right here is your light switches or let me see what this one is this one is a uh, uh, yeah light there's a light uh this one here and we to select that one is a light that one is a electric switch okay so anyway uh we'll go over all of this stuff and another thing we'll probably do is this fence all right guys that's it for this video thank you for watching me uh if you got questions you can call me or not call me you can text me and uh i can probably call you but first i, I need for you to email me this location as h mendoza adjusting at yahoo.com again thank you let me close this